There is no parking. Pretty busy. I am walking toward the gym location for the Vancouver Dodgeball League playoffs. And I've already played yesterday, so today I'm gonna vlog it. Definitely not a lot of parking. Three blocks is not really that far. I'm really complaining. I shouldn't be complaining. But Vancouverites complain apparently. I definitely don't like parking next to uh, baseball or softball diamonds, especially when they're being in use. I'm pretty sure I'm really unlucky and my car's gonna get hit by a ball. Huge warning sign not to enter this way if you're a player. I'm not playing today, so I don't give a F. This is uh, Brandon, one of my white friends. I guess. I have many white friends, actually. Well, you got lots of white guy friends? <laughs> no, and you're the whitest person I know. Just... <laughs> I'm up. True. Good luck, guys. Good luck. There's uh, six tiers in the playoffs. The one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, I don't know why I found that for you guys. So one and six is over there, three and two is over here, and then four and five right there. And if you stand on the sidelines, you're shaking sh sh balls like, oh my god, I almost dropped the crown. Like that. I got on the camera too. <laughs> this is an uncomfortable thing. So it makes me uncomfortable. And sweaty. Keith. Hey, hi. He's an executor. Yeah. But don't tell anybody that. No, no. They don't pay me. Yeah, they don't. They don't pay okay. anybody, but they don't. It's voluntary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This graphic design. Web design is close enough. I don't blame you, Joe. Do you dab into graphics at all? No. No. Because then I hate printers. Like, I have a beat. Like, oh, I don't blame you. Same here. I do tech. I don't like dealing with printers. No. They fuck up all the time. They suck. Yeah, they really do. Yeah. It looks nice when it's printed. Yeah, after like the 50th time you print something and then it finally spits out something and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You think after all these years it would get that right? It's the worst tech that keeps getting improved upon and keeps getting worse. Yeah. Oh, we made the wireless. Does it work? No. no. I gotta do my job now. Yeah. <laughs> Watch all the dodgeball videos, like the tier one plays. Yeah. Check out her channel. What's it again? Yeah. yeah. I'll link it below. This is the start. Season, I don't know, like season nine? Wow. A lot of videos. She spends like hours cutting and uploading. It's ridiculous. Before she had like fast internet. <laughs> So if you guys watch the Vancouver Talks, there's a interview thing I did for the Vancouver Dodgeball League, one of the playoffs. I interviewed some of the teams and asked them what they liked about dodgeball, you know, what inspired them to play dodgeball, what motivates them to play dodgeball. Specifically for myself, it's the community, it's the fun of the game. Bringing back the elementary and high school, when you play dodgeball and gym and PE, physical education. There's drop-ins here, you can give dodgeball a try. Right? Just check it out, it's quite fun. All right, so he's actually not from Vancouver. Yeah, he's from Calgary. Yeah, but living um, in Victoria. Yeah, but there is a dodgeball league in Calgary. One of one of the Vancouver dodgeball players moved to Calgary, and uh, yeah, he created a league there. So how's that going? Is that really season? I think they're starting season. Oh man, uh, season 11 or 12? Wow. I think they're season 12. So they're, they're not as old as BDL, but no, they're not. If they're still growing. They're young, but they, like, it's exciting to see how much they've grown since they started playing against like the Vancouver. If my viewers are in Calgary, check it out. Boss, we play Mondays and Wednesdays are more like competitive nights, and then Tuesdays are a more wreck beginner, a good intro to the sport. So yeah, Angus club. There you go, Angus. You can't be mad now. <laughs> I'll take Angus with this. Yeah, just so he knows. You train yeah. them well. You train your players well. Yeah. You walk around town with boss shirts. You're like, what? <laughs> and now the boss shirts are all over BDL. Yeah, he's got one. Yeah. There you go. Always with a swag. Yeah, always yeah. with a swag. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you win a playoff in BDL for sure, you get a free t-shirt, so that's cool. Same thing for Boston. This is actually one of the champions for sure. Oh. For playoff, yeah. No, it's, it's sweet. Okay, we're gonna watch the last one now. Yes. Yeah. We got Matt here. How's it hey, going, Matt? Uh, it's going good. It's going good. Take your life. Take your life. Probably a decade at this point. Uh, I think so, me too. Yeah, yeah, you were, you were here when I started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time, right? We're on the same boat. Yeah, same boat. He's got a channel. Check it out. Hey, I like to play the tube. 
Google, what's your channel name? Uh, it's Mac Dreamer Audio, but it's under Norn Rats YouTube on YouTube. I like it though. What do you like about that? Aside from the fact that it's the only physical activity that I do it, anymore, I need it or else I'm just going to turn into a blueberry. And blueberries are good. Though. They are delicious. I think throwing is just so fun. Throwing is like a life skill. I want to be able to throw. I think everyone should know how to throw. And dodgeball is just like throwing a card. A big thing with dodgeball is it's like the thrower and the catcher, it's like this uh, eternal battle between like people that want to catch and people that want to throw. You know, like oh, offense and defense. Yeah. You know? It's like it's a really good balance. The switches are really quickly. Yeah, and especially with the way our nation of the sport goes. What do you like about this sport, Joe? I just always like dodgeball in general. And the community that keeps me in. Yeah, it's a great the, the sport is great, the sport is fun, but it's the community that kept me in. Yeah, I agree. If there were just a bunch of bad actors, you know, like it wouldn't be as fun. Exactly. 90% of the time that someone goes out on the court, it's from self repping That really says a lot about this sport in general. Like, it wouldn't exist without that. And like, let's compare that to a bare league ice hockey sport. They straight up get into fights in those. Yeah, exactly. Really, not that great to converse. Like, we're actually having a conversation. Which is really difficult in this time of year. Another thing I like about dodgeball is like, when you're watching MMA, a great battle, at the end they shake hands, they have respect for each other. I feel like there's a lot of that in dodgeball. There's a lot of times too, especially when players have respect for each other, where there's a ball that was close to hitting them, but like, no one really knows. The person who threw it will say like, you're safe, you're safe, just cause like, there's a respect there. Like, we don't want you to have to go out on this thing that no one knows. So it's a good feeling. Obviously though, when it's not working, when people are kind of playing dumpy, like you can have a really unfortunate night. It doesn't affect me as much, but I know it really does affect other people. Like it will tank their night or someone's not oh, playing, yeah. honestly. Like they get so riled up, you know, there's a fine line. It's, for me personally, I just play, play through it. Yeah, me too. I, I try it. never yeah. to get upset. In fact, anytime I am upset on the court, it's always because I blew it. You know, like whenever I don't make a block or a catch or something. But I'm never upset at someone else, even if they are like. Uh, it's the ice hockey mentality, right? Lose four teeth, keep playing. I guess, yeah. Right? <laughs> That's totally it. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Joseph. <laughs>Pretty sure that is not a parking spot. No, that's definitely not a spot. That's not that spot. That's uh, that's illegal. So I'm in the car and I'm gonna go head out to pick up a polisher for the other car. Give it a polish, try to maybe fix up the paint. I'm pretty chill lax about aesthetics in terms of cars. I like the solid engine, solid maintenance, and I'm gonna running. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick up a polisher at Kane Tire. Kane Tire, actually Canadian. So I hate these touch screens. They just Bye. marshmallows. Yep, those are freaking huge marshmallows. Crap. I always walk into aisles that I'm not actually here to buy things for, just to see what it, what's here. And like hockey is like one of them. So hockey sticks galore. Hockey padding. If I see something on sale, sometimes I grab it. And that's not on sale. Now that I'm playing hockey this season, I'm in the right location, looking for polisher slash sander, and it's a maximum 9.99 on sale. I think I found it. I think that's it right there. And it's locked. So I gotta ask for a sales associate. Convenient, press for assistance button. I really wonder how long I'm gonna be here before a sales associate actually comes. Pretty sure for a while. I feel like King Towers are usually understaffed. Nope, I thought I was a sales associate that wasn't a sales associate. That's actually the display unit of the polisher.